We'll get the last one over there. We're bringing one more on here. Roger. Got it. We got to get the pump and air for somebody in the center. Roger that. As soon as we're loaded, if you guys are comfortable, we're going to roll. Dwayne's lead helicopter takes off, leaving Justin and the trail helicopter behind. Let's go. Let's go. Most of the wounded are unconscious, a bad sign. At this point, every second matters. Six critically wounded Afghan civilians. On the lead helicopter, Lucas is keeping a... On Justin's trail helicopter, one of the civilians has vomited, a sign of severe head trauma. It's a five-minute flight. All the PJs can do is ensure that the men don't die along the way. Now he's got the obvious head trauma, obviously. Alert to painful. Hey, Justin and the trail bird are close behind. Hey, open the door! With three more civilians clinging to life. Hey, this one. X-ray, bed four. The suicide bombers packed explosives with large ball bearings. All the civilians have suffered major blood loss. Many have severe brain trauma. There's an outside CT scanner. Is it open skull fracture? I'd rather get the better images for this one. They're having a lot of bleeding in the two turns. Five's an OR for basket control. Yeah, five's going to the OR. Is it a scanner? Yes. Dwayne, Justin, and the AM shift have done all they can for the civilians. Everything that I thought of, the way it would, war was about, uh, it, it's, not, it's not like what I thought it would be. And it became so surreal. <laughs> you go going through that hospital and you see all these guys in there. It's scary. Only once we step foot on the aircraft and start flying, once we're airborne and we're flying home, you can relax. But uh, until we actually leave, you definitely have to have your game face on, because anything can happen at any time. You need to be ready. <laughs> 